really good for him. It is your boy, David Brand New. Uh, back with another video for you. Uh, and today we got another banger video. That's because we have another e-bike to review. And we're actually already on it. As you guys saw, I did the unboxing. This is the Ingway M10 or M20. I have no idea, guys. But this bike looks incredible. We're going to take it for its first ride today. Um, I don't know anything about this bike. At some point, we're going to pull over, look up the specs. But uh, so far, so good. I'm already liking the look. Speed-wise, I don't know. Currently going 27 kilometers per hour. Don't be fooled. Let's bump up the speed a little bit goes all the way up to level five we're going faster now we're going 34 35 this is kilometers per hour the bike is fully charged so we should have enough range to last this whole route today one thing to note is that this bike also comes with two batteries i didn't put both of them on just because i like to look better with this bag on top but you can mount the extra battery right on top right here so yeah Let's pull over really quick. I want to change the settings from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. Let's see if we can do that. I'm guessing you hold the plus and minus button. They're underneath right here. All right, here's the speed limit. So it's set to 60 kilometers per hour and that looks like the max. So we'll do a top speed run in the video, GPS verified to see how fast this bike is. P4, I don't really know what that is. I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, you know what? I think that was the kilometers per hour. So P4, Let's change that to miles per hour. There we go. Perfect. I'll look at the manual and see if we can make the bike any faster or quicker, but I'm pretty sure it's maxed out at this point. All right, let's go ahead and head back on the road and continue this ride. As you guys saw in the intro, the bike comes with some pretty cool headlights. You actually have a button right here on the side to turn them on. So I'm pretty sure they're already on. And when you hit the button, they get even brighter. So that's pretty dope. It also looks like this bike has a horn. Let's check it out. Okay, pretty loud. Nice. So far, man, this bike is pretty good. The only thing that I'm not liking is this shifter. As you guys know, I say it in every video. I hate the look of this shifter. I think it'd be a little bit more cleaner if they had the trigger shifter that's underneath the bars, but it's all good. Another cool thing about this bike is that it comes with a full twist throttle, not a half twist throttle. So super dope it's kind of like a motorcycle style definitely looks like one let's go ahead and mix in some pedaling even though i don't really like pedaling these moped style bikes because you can't adjust the seat height and i'm a freaking giant i'm six foot four so my knees are like hitting my chin right now <laughs> but when you pedal you can definitely go faster looks like we're going 23 miles per hour we got it all the way up in seventh gear let's test out these brakes now okay not too bad these are mechanical disc brakes, not hydraulic. For a bike that looks like a motorcycle, I feel like they should have put hydraulic brakes on this thing. But, I mean, I can't complain. They're working pretty good. Let's test out the cornerability, if that's even a word. Let's go ahead and get low. The knee is out, guys. Let's do some laps around this parking lot. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of scary. Let's do one more lap. Whew. Woo! Yes! All right, guys, so this is the Ingway M20. This is by far the best looking e-bike by Ingway. You guys did a great job with this one, okay? It looks like a straight up freaking motorcycle, okay? Let's go over some of these components really quick and then we'll hop back on the bike. But this is the overall shot of it. What are you guys thinking, man? It looks like a Super 73. I kind of like it a little bit more because everybody has a Super 73 at this point and it's kind of cool to be a little bit different, right? So here's gonna be the motor. This is a 750 watt rear hub motor, okay? It's gonna be encased in mag wheels. We have a Shimano Turney derailleur, guys. And we have beefy 20 by four inch fat tires. This bike also comes with front and rear fenders as well as front and rear suspension. Here's the rear light. It's also gonna double as a brake light. It gets brighter as soon as you engage those brakes. And then here's these dope headlights. They're stacked on top of each other. Check out this freaking saddle. 
This one looks super cool, nice and sporty. And then right here, this is where I mounted the extra bag that they sent me, but technically you're supposed to mount the second battery right on top. But yeah, if you're somebody that's concerned about range, definitely install that second battery. You'll have more than enough. All right, guys, back on the Ingway M20. Like I said, we will be doing a top speed run. I'm also gonna be doing a hill climb test. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put it on the dynamic hill climb or just the normal hill climb that we take all the bikes. But speaking of hills, here's our first one. This one's not like nothing to get excited over, but technically is a hill. Let's do throttle only. It should do perfectly fine up this one. Currently going 18 miles per hour. Looks like the speedometer is accurate too. 16, slowing down. 14, 13, come on. 750 watts or 500? What are we working with? 13 okay okay it's gonna be interesting going up the uh the hill climb i think i'm gonna take it on the normal hill climb just so we can have a baseline and compare it to other e-bikes all right let's take it downhill let's see how fast we can go throttle only top speed here we go can we catch up to the van i don't think so he's taking off currently going 29 miles per hour can we go any faster Let's let off the throttle. Are we speeding up? Currently going 31, 32. The van has stopped. We've passed the van. Oh yes. Looks like we hit 32 miles per hour on that downhill slope. Not mad at it. So far, I'm really liking the suspension. The ride has been super comfortable. I haven't really felt any bumps at all. I really like when fat tire bikes have full suspension because Dude, it's like the smoothest ride ever. You already get cushioned. Oh my God, that was kind of bumpy. <laughs> like I was saying, you already get cushioned with the uh, fat tires and then when you're just adding suspension with it, man, the ride is super smooth. All right, I don't want to drain the battery too much before we do this top speed run. So let's go ahead and just do it right now. We are currently at the designated spot, about to perform the top speed run. First one's gonna be throttle only. We're gonna do it from a dead stop. Here we go. We got it all the way up in pedal assist five. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, takeoff is kinda of slow. Currently going 12 miles per hour. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay. Acceleration is a little bit slow. I wonder what uh, size controller this bike is working with. Let's see what the top speed is though. Throttle only. Let's tuck a little bit. 25 miles per hour. Can we go any faster? I saw 25. Looks like we're maintaining 25. It's dropping to 24. I think that's the top speed though, guys. 24 throttle only. What's up, dog? Next test is going to be pedal assist. We got it all the way up in pedal assist five. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. We're going to start it off with throttle and then we're going to mix in the pedaling. Here we go. Let's see how fast we can pedal. Boom, 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 boom. 21, 22, 23. My legs are moving. 26, okay. Can we do 28? Is it a class three? I think we're already at class three. Never mind. Let me see. 26. Yeah, it looks like it stops at 26. I can't go any faster, guys. Woo! All right, so not the fastest bike. I mean, it looks pretty fast, but I've definitely ridden faster bikes. Currently on our way to the hill climb test spot. But in the meantime and in between time, let's go ahead and test out the suspension. It's a little rough over here. Let's see how it does. It's actually working pretty good. I'm not expecting it to be like completely smooth, but like even going over bumps, it smooths them out pretty, pretty darn well. Let's, out. let's check this out, big bump. Oh, okay, that was rough, but not bad, okay? Yeah, dude, it's like I'm going over a little cushion. It's not bad at all. Yeah, quality suspension. 
quality. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, that was a big pothole. And we made it out alive, guys. The suspension didn't bottom out, not once. I'm gonna give the suspension an A. <laughs> I don't know when I started rating stuff by letter grade, but um, yeah, the suspension got an A. And now we are currently at the designated hill climb test spot. About to perform this hill test. First one's gonna be throttle only. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, so we did use some of the battery. It's not fully charged, but we should get a good idea of how this bike performs up hills. Here we go, currently going 15 miles per hour. I don't know, I don't have too much faith in this one. I don't know, it seems like we're lacking some power. Currently going 15 miles per hour. The truck is hauling ass up the hill and we are not, we're only going 10 miles per hour, nine, oh no. I've seen this before. Nope, we're not gonna do it. We're not even halfway up the hill. We're gonna stop here. So this bike has 750 watt motor, but it's uh, one of the lower powered ones. Uh, believe it or not, all 750 watt motors are not created equal. I've tested some that eat that hill with ease, and this one slowed down to like seven miles per hour. Usually when it gets that slow, it means the motor is working extra hard. So that's when I usually just in the test right there but let's go ahead and try out pedal assist this time and see if that makes a difference we got it all the way up in pedal assist five you guys ready three two one go we're gonna start off with throttle now we're gonna pedal let's lower the gear so it's not too hard currently in gear four legs are hamster like should get some resistance now Let's see if we can make it all the way up the hill. All right, currently going 11 miles per hour, 10. Let's drop the gear a little bit more. We're just gonna do it just to show that you can make it up the hill. I don't wanna make the bike look super bad, but man, we are going so slow. Man, here we go, seven miles per hour. So it's not impossible to make it up the hill. It's just the bike is working extra hard. We finished at seven miles per hour, guys. Let's go back down and see what this top speed is. One more time, downhill, throttle only. Here we go. 28, 29, 31. We are flying, 34. Oh my God, 35. Looks like 35 is the top speed. Woo! That was fast. And the video continues, guys. Let's go ahead and take it up the dynamic hill climb test. We're gonna give this bike one more chance, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I wasn't happy with the hill test. Top speed wise, 24, 25 miles per hour, 26 miles per hour. It's pretty good, I'm not mad at that. But when it comes to hills, if we're only going up that hill at seven miles per hour, there's something wrong with the freaking bike. Especially if you're claiming that it's a 750 watt. What's up guys? Currently at the designated hill climb test spot number two. This is gonna be a dynamic hill climb test. As you recall, I've tested one other bike at this very same hill. So you guys, if you guys wanna see how well this bike does compared to that one, check out the other video. That was the Aoster Motor e-bike. Anyways, you guys ready? The first test is gonna be throttle only. Here we go, three, two, one, go. All right, so let's see how she does. This one's strictly throttle. We're not gonna help it out by pedaling. Off to a slow start. Let's see if she even makes it up the freaking hill, guys. Currently going nine miles per hour. It looks like we're picking up speed. Not really. <laughs> maintaining nine miles per hour it's trucking up the hill i forget how fast we were going on the other bike i feel like we we're going a little bit faster though and that bike was 750 watts you know david brand new has to keep it honest in the video so it is what it is in any case we are going up the hill going nine miles per hour let's give the bike a rest right here should pick up speed and now we're going to go into the turn and truck up the hill some more 
This slope is slightly steeper, I believe. Let's see if we can go any faster. I don't even think that's possible. Nope, we're going nine miles per hour. Man, this motor is working. It's working hard. I, I, I almost don't even want to ruin the bike. I think I'm just going to end it there. That's going to do it for the dynamic hill climb test. Let's go back down. I want to test out the pedal assist one more time. Oh my God, this bike is flying though. Dude, downhill, this bike is perfect. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm on a motorcycle because it's kind of heavy. You can really get like a good lean. Oh my God. Let's test out these brakes though. Okay, brakes. All right, guys. Next test is going to be pedal assist. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Let's help it out with throttle. Let's drop the gears. Currently in gear four. This feels comfortable. I think we can go up the hill just fine like this. Currently going 11 miles per hour. We're not putting in too much effort. The battery is damn near drained all the way down. So that might be the reason why this bike is a little underpowered. Probably should have installed that extra battery. <laughs> All right, we're going 10 miles per hour. Let's speed up a little bit, get some momentum, and go into the turn and up the hill. Currently going 15, 14, 13, 12. Is this a countdown or is this a top speed run? What is going on? 10, nine. You better not show eight. You better stay at nine. I'm not playing with you anyway. If you drop to eight, I'm ending the video. All right, it's maintaining nine. I think we'll make it up the hill just fine. Now, as you know, you're not supposed to go up hills throttle only. It's not recommended, right? You're supposed to be pedaling. I just do these tests just to show you guys what the bike is capable of. Let's do the agility course. I don't know how agile. Oh my God, that was a freaking lizard. I don't know how agile this bike is because it's kind of big. It's kind of kind of heavy we'll see we'll see all right here we go agility test it's not really an agility test i just like doing this course i like to imagine that i'm a professional e-bike racer even though that doesn't exist <laughs> nice drift dave this bike has no takeoff though oh my god all right it's maneuvering quite well though here we go down the path fast as possible Hit the turn, slow down a little bit. We're gonna slide into the turn. We're gonna run over the freaking lizard. We're gonna go down into the grass. Whew. We're gonna go around the loop. Hopefully we don't slide out. The leg is out. We're gonna go through the sandy, grassy, patchy area. I can't even say it. <laughs> I'm a little under the weather weather <laughs> here we go let's pedal see how fast this bike is 20 miles per hour 22 slow down dave don't hit the wall leg is out okay home stretch not too bad not too bad not too bad okay Maneuverability of this bike actually handles pretty well. I'm not mad at it. I just wish it had a little bit more takeoff. Like it has zero acceleration, dude. Dude, we are flying down this hill though. Oh my God, this feels amazing. Guys, this is the Ingway M20. Ingway is celebrating their ninth anniversary. They're having a carnival. I don't know. I don't know. It says, that's what it says on the website. So for a limited time, this bike is $14.49. The regular price, the regular price is $15.99.
let's run down some of these specs it says the bike is capable of 47 plus 47 miles what's 47 plus 47 that's like over 90 miles of range okay this bike also has a 1000 watt peak motor all right nominal is 750 watts as you saw on the hill climb the top speed they're saying is 28 miles per hour however i wasn't able to get that maybe your boy is gaining weight i have been eating really good the max we got was 26 miles per hour that was with pedal assist throttle only we were maxing out at like 24 miles per hour that was gps verified by the way the bike comes with dual front headlights super bright super cool and unique back to the batteries you're going to be getting 48 volts 26 amp hours total okay that's with both batteries you do have the option to just get it with one single battery you don't have to get the dual battery option it says the torque of the bike is 55 newton meters so that explains why there's a lack of acceleration i'm used to seeing like 85 newton meters of torque that equates to like pretty decent takeoff and pretty good hill climb ability. The bike comes with 160 millimeter dual disc brakes as well. Now it's not gonna be as good as hydraulic disc brakes, but they work pretty good. One of the things that stand out to me is the overall look of the bike. I think it looks beautiful. I really love this full twist throttle. The only things that I wish were different on the bike is the Shimano shifter, and I wish it had hydraulic brakes. But yeah, overall, it's a quality bike. I'm not mad at it at all. If you guys are interested in picking one up, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button one time for your boy. And until the next video, deuces like that. Yee!